I've been in the Berlin Philharmonic since 1996. When I first heard the first sound from the orchestra, the first note convinced me that either I was going to get into the Berlin Philharmonic or I was going to open a bookstore. I grew up in western Massachusetts, in the town of Amherst, Massachusetts, which is about a two-hour drive west of Boston. The most amazing concert I ever heard in this hall was when I was maybe eight years old, and I sat just back there, and it was a solo recital by Arthur Rubinstein. I think he had 10 minutes of applause before he played a note. This tour, I am doing both things. I play the viola and on the guitar. It's always uh, an amazing thing to finally be standing in the place of honor, a place where you have had such wonderful experiences of other people performing, and then to be in that position where you yourself are the musician. This was also the first concert hall, as far as I know, that employed a scientist, an acoustician from Harvard University, to design the hall. And here we are, 122 years later, and it has one of the best acoustics of any hall in the world. My greatest teacher, the greatest influence in my life, was from a, a Jewish family from Berlin. And his cousin was a concertmaster of the Berlin Philharmonic, Leon Spieger. And my teacher, Julian Olewski, uh, was a, a great child prodigy. I really learned the Berlin School from Berliners in Amherst, Massachusetts which is kind of wild. Yes, I'm the first American viola player, but we have these books that list all the members of the orchestra. And in 1913, there was an American cellist. We don't know when he left, but we assume he was there only for a very short time, because at that time, Americans could not be in Germany because of the outbreak of World War I. So, there was an American cellist in 1913 for perhaps one year in the orchestra. When I joined the Berlin Philharmonic, I felt free of any boundary because I heard the music making going on around me and I realized that people are making music without boundaries. And that's the only place that music really exists. You can be even more creative because creation is sort of a um, a spiral, always moving outward, always getting larger. And when I got to the Berlin Philharmonic, that's when I realized that there, there was a limitless possibility for me musically.